Hi folks, welcome back to the Frontend Engineer channel. My name is Ray, I'm UI engineer based in London, and today's topic is the compensation. So, uh, if you're planning to move to, to the UK and trying to research the market, uh, understand uh, the numbers that you can get, um, so this video will work for you. This video will work for you uh, regardless of your specialization, whether you are a UI engineer, machine learning specialist, or just a backend engineer. Um, so, uh, because I'm based in London, I was trying to research the market, and also I'm, I'd like to try to um, prove that uh, you can get uh, US level salaries in the UK, and the myth that you uk salaries are much less than the us salaries is not sometimes is not true yes in, in most situations this is this is true but uh depending on your experience you can get really good numbers and i have offer examples that i want to share with you but this is going to be in the next part so let's start so before we dive into the salary research i'd like to explain one thing the software engineering market follows the tree model concept and let's look at the picture uh, it's easier to explain when you see that so if you uh, so as you can see on the picture um, there is a chart on the y-axis you will have the number of position on the x-axis you will see the compensation level and we we'll also see three spikes uh, each of the spikes refers to the company tier meaning that um, so, uh, meaning that, that the, the tier of a company determined by its size and also by its uh, earnings and so on. And uh, by researching the spikes, we can understand that um, mostly the company is split into three types and we call it tier here. So, the tier one companies are usually the small companies, uh, small local companies that pay a lesser average salary on the market. These companies do not compete with international companies, and even more so with a large corporation. Usually it's a good choice for a career start. Uh, uh, also, the, in these companies, the working life, work and life balance tend to be better. Um, yeah, and also, this and the interview process is much simpler. So, the next one is the Tier 2 companies. Uh, and these are the companies usually, they are usually like cross regional international companies that can hire the talent from different countries and pay pretty good high average market salary. They compete for the talent with the tier 1 companies and other tier 2 companies. Some of the examples of these companies are Deutsche Bank, JetBrains, Revolut, TopTal and many more. The next one is the most interesting. This is the largest corporation that are leading the industry. Usually people refer to them as the fang companies or Meng now and all crazy salaries that you can find on the internet usually come from these companies. It's funny but people usually are not aware of the salary range that uh, fang can give you. These companies don't compete with the tier 1 or tier 2 but further they fight for the talent across each other. So let's see now how much money software engineers can earn in London. I split the table by the tier and experience level. Let's make it clear now how I distinguish the levels. Junior software engineers, these are new grads or people that have no prior ex industry experience. Usually these uh, people need to be mentored by senior engineers. Companies usually pay minimum wage for them and that's kind of fair. <laughs> So the middle software engineers are engineers with the two, five years of experience that can handle building complex product features and executing individually. Senior software engineers are engineers with the five plus years of experience. They can lead the development of the product feature or the product itself, mentor junior engineers and take a key role in the product architecture. Um, the next one is the staff uh, software engineer. Uh, these are engineers that lead the product or even products development. They set up the guidelines and direction for multiple teams. They perfectly understand the company business, play a key role in the moving business forward. Staff engineers usually have some archetypes. Some of them are tech leads, some of them are fixers. 
people that can be put on fire and solve complex problems. So, okay, now let's look at the salaries that they can get as an engineer in London. Uh, let's start with the junior engineers. So, the junior engineer uh, in a tier one company can earn st starting from 17,000 to 29,000. So these are pretty peanuts. Uh, also, please note that the numbers are in pounds. So if you want to get this in dollars, just convert the pounds to dollars. Um, so the next one is the middle software engineer. So the middle software engineer in the tier one company, minimum wage is 27,000 and the maximum you, that you can get is 55,000. The senior software engineer can get starting from 55 to 80,000 pounds. Staff software engineer, uh, to be honest, I couldn't find any data point on that uh, because mostly in the small companies the, there are no like staff engineers. Mostly the staff engineer job is done by the senior engineer and there might be no opportunities for the staff engineers in such companies. So let's switch to the tier two companies and it's uh, this is the place where we see how the compensation drastically grows. And so as a junior engineer, you can earn like starting from 29 to 55,000 uh, pounds, almost two times jump from the tier one. And if we look at the middle software engineer salary, this starting from 55,000 to 87,000 pounds, um, kind of. Uh, so almost, so it's also like two times jump from the tier one. Um, the senior software engineer in tier 2 company can earn starting from 80,000 and uh, ending 150,000. Um, that's a good money. Um, so, and the staff engineer salary starts from 120 to 190,000 uh, pounds. All right, so looks like tier 2 companies give a good money. But let's go to the next one. So the tier three companies um, or big corporations. So how much can you get there? So junior engineer at the tier three company can get 55 to 115,000 pounds. And this is kind of crazy because the junior engineer in tier three company can earn more than the senior engineer in the tier one company and almost uh, the same salary as the senior engineer in tier two company. This, this are the money that uh, big companies are ready to pay for smart students. The next one is the middle software engineer. Middle software engineer at the tier 3 company can earn 87,000 to 190,000 uh, pounds. Um, this sounds like the crazy because 190 pounds for the UK is a pretty good money. But uh, yeah, and if you compare it with the tier one and tier two, this is almost more than two time difference in terms of the maximum compensation. The next one is the senior software engineer. Senior software engineer at the FANG company starting from 130 to and ending around 270 pounds. So the 270 pounds, um, so I think it's about $350,000. This is almost like US level salary that you can get as a senior, as a senior engineer. And I feel like um, if you ask um, like 70% of the developers in the UK, they will be like surprised with this amount of money. But this is what you can get in, uh, in the UK if you properly research the market. So the staff software engineer uh, starting salary is the 180 and the, this ends to 400 pounds. And the staff software engineer earns really good money. It can be less than the US, but still like having 400 uh, pounds compensation level as a staff engineer. This is really good uh, in a, in the United Kingdom. So, and in terms of distribution, 60% uh, of the job posting uh, comes from the tier one company, 30% uh, work in the tier two companies and the 10% works in the fan companies. 
So yeah, that was an overview of the London market. Uh, if you want to share or add anything else, please feel free to post in the comments and ping me in Telegram. Uh, also, you can do your own research, go to levels for your information and check the salary ranges for your city or country. So, but this is not the end. Uh, in the next part, I just want to share with you like mm, the offers from the, the from the first hand information. So I will not share where I get these offers or from whom these offers came, um, but it's uh, trust me here that this are of, so these are the offers of my friends and also of my uh, from my personal research. So let's dive into this part. All right, folks. So let's proceed to the numbers that uh, I researched on the market and also the offer numbers that uh, my friends were able to get from the local companies. So if you look at the table now, uh, we'll see that uh, it's split into the three colors, the red one, yellow, uh, yellow and green. So the red one represents kind of the minimum that uh, for the senior engineer position and the green one is the maximum that you could get on the uh, senior row and if you see the minimum is also pretty good so the minimum offer was from Binance and it's uh, 175,000 um, uh, British pound and the next one is Reddit with the 230, um, uh, 230 pounds and so something in the middle, uh, Binance, Meta and Snap. But if you see in the green zone, uh, the Reddit and Stripe. So if you look at the Stripes, uh, uh, there is like 300 total compensation for the senior engineer role. And if you convert this to the dollar value, this is uh, pretty good for even for US. So uh, these offers were given um, recently. This means that it's like two three weeks uh old they are two three weeks old so um you can rely on these numbers during your search and i wish you to have the such offer but as you can see this is all the senior engineer role this means that your negotiation skills your contra offers can raise you from 175 to 300 so the, this is the reason why you should interview in multiple companies so you can get multiple offers and you can negotiate with the company to give you better compensation, better money and so on. So that's actually it for, um, for this video. I just wanted to discuss the compensation and also provide some details what you, what you can get in the UK and also in London and uh, because I see people coming to London start after like having 10 years of experience, they start working at for 80, for 60 or um, 80,000 pounds and they complain that they don't have much money and so on. And yeah, and it actually goes down to market research and also understanding how much uh, companies can pay for your skills. So uh, I feel like We'll take a break from the talkative video about the compensation and general interview. Um, the next videos will be more about system design and preparing free new videos on the system design. So subscribe to my Telegram channel, subscribe to YouTube channel, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.